morning. Today we're going to talk about how to set up integration testing for AWS services by leveraging local stack within GitHub workflows. Intro. AWS has many services that we utilize in our applications like S3, SQS, DynamoDB, SNS, and Lambda, to name a few. The question that we always end up with is, how do I test my application integration with these services before we deploy? Finding bugs in this integration earlier rather than later would improve development velocity. This is where local stack comes in. It provides a fully functional local AWS cloud stack. This empowers developers to be able to test the application integration before deployment. But then we get into another wrinkle. Local development setup is always a pain, mostly in big teams. Trying to keep all local development setup in sync is a nightmare. This is where we created a solution by integrating local stack with GitHub Actions. This allows users to be able to test integration of applications with AWS cloud services during CI-CD workflows. Automating this process allows us to not have to worry about setting up environments because every single developer will be running their tests in the CI-CD pipelines. Now that we understand the high-level design, let's get into the code. We set up AWS Host EMV globally so that it can be used for all steps in the workflow. We will use this to set up the endpoint parameter in the Node.js AWS SDK library config. The services EMV is used to describe all the local stack services that we have enabled for this workflow. Let's go down to services. We use local stack, local stack image, but if you need other services not included in this light version Docker image, then you can use the local stack, local stack full. As for ports, we use 4566. Notice that local stack recommends this new external entry point port for all services. For the local stack service EMV, we provide all the local stack recommended EMV variables when running with Docker. Note that we map our global services EMV to the local stack EMV instance to make sure that it gets the values that we set up above. Also note hostname external EMV. This is necessary so that any URL generated by local stack utilizes the host provided. In this case, we gave it our AWS host EMV value. In the options parameter, we utilize curl local stack 4566 to make sure that local stack is up and running. Jump into the source code to the AWS SDK config. Here's where we pull AWS host EMV so that we can use it as the endpoint parameter in the AWS SDK initialization. Note that for local stack to work properly, you will need to provide the AWS SDK setup US is one region. Access key ID and secret access key parameters can be whatever settings you want, but they need to be included as they are required for AWS SDK to start properly. Also note that when using S3, you will need to set the force S3 for path style parameter to make sure that it's able to connect to the S3 bucket using the AWS host provided. Do note that there could be some configs that you may need to set up for other services. So give it a try and see how far you can get. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it for you guys. A lot of 4 AMs. I need to sleep more. Anyways, Make sure to check out the description. That's where I put the GitHub URL of the project and subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.